Hello everyone. Welcome to our channel Gorange Astro Home. So today we will be talking about the lecture 2 of financial astrology course. So today we are going to discuss about the signs and the sun. So uh, as everybody knows that you know our zodiac see sun is the center and all the planets revolve around the sun in a 360 degree fashion. Now see that zodiac has been divided into 12 equal parts by our ancient sages. So the method of division was that they used to observe a certain set of stars and based on that star you know they have given the names. So there are basically 12 signs in which the zodiac has been divided. I have written the 12 and we will discuss some more integrities and integrities of that. So the first is Aries. Now Aries is the start. It starts from 0 degrees to 30 degrees. So I have written the starting point and it is movable in nature and earth enters Aries or there is equinox formation on 21st of around 21st of March every year. This is very cyclic in nature. Now what is an equinox? An equinox is a day wherein the length of the day and the length of the night is exactly the same. The second sign is Taurus. Now the Taurus extends from 30 degree to 60 degree. It is fixed in nature and earth enter sorry sun enters into Taurus on 21st of April. In astrology the starting point is always very 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 important. So we don't not take the rest of the journey we the start we focus mainly on the starting point. The third sign is Gemini. In the zodiac it is spread between 60 degrees to 90 degrees. Dual in nature and sun enters into Gemini on 21st of May. Fourth sign is Cancer. It spreads from 90 degrees to 120 degrees movable in nature and sun enters it on 21st of June which is a solstice. Now 21st of June you know you must have read in your primary schools. 21st of the June is a day which is longest and the night is the shortest in the northern hemisphere. So people who are watching from Australia or something in the southern hemisphere it would be exactly the opposite. Fifth sign. Fifth sign is Leo. It extends from 120 degrees to 150 degrees fixed in nature and sun enters into Leo on 21st of July. Sixth sign is Virgo. Virgo extends from 150 degrees to 180 degrees dual in nature and sun enters it on 21st of August. Seventh sign Libra. It extends from 180 degrees to 210 degrees. It is movable in nature and Sun enters it on 21st of September. It is another equinox state wherein the day, the length of the day is exactly equal to the length of the night. So basically, you know, on 21st of September, the sun is crossing the equator towards the southern hemisphere. Eighth sign is Scorpio. It extends from 210 degrees to 240 degrees fixed and sun enters it on 21st of October. The ninth is Sagittarius. It ranges from 240 degrees to 270 degrees dual in nature and sun enters it on 21st of November. Tenth, this is Capricorn. The tenth sign is Capricorn. It extends from 270 degrees to 300 degrees movable in nature and the sun enters it on 21st of December which is again a 
solstice which means that on this day the night is the longest and the day is the shortest then the 11th sign is aquarius which extends from 300 degrees to 330 degrees in the zodiac and sun enters in aquarius on 21st of jan now there is one more sign which is pisces so i have not written it because of the paucity of the space so i'll write it round here so the 12th sign is pisces it extends from 330 degrees to 360 degrees and it is dual in nature and sun must be entering it around 21st of february okay now you can see on your screen there are four most important points which is first entry into the aries which is forming a equinox entry into cancer which is forming a solstice entry into libra again an equinox and entry into capricorn which is forming a solstice now all these you know from an equinox to an equinox to equinox to equinox it is 180 degrees movement of the sun and from an equinox to solstice it is 90 degrees which is 180 you can say days also or degrees so sun moves about 1 degree per day so it is 90 days all these dates are extremely important as far as the market is concerned see every sign has a different energy so uh, if i tell you that you know for example for example let's say you know there are different people working in an organization so some people are emotional in nature some people you know they are very workaholic in nature and some people they are having a mixed type of situation so if you go to a person who is having some sort of mixed feelings he might be able to help you but if you go to an emotional person and say you know boss my uh, mom is very sick he'll definitely help you out in that situation he'll try to help you out you know in in that situation but if you go to a workaholic person and say my mom is sick so he'll he'll take leaves he'll not be you know so helpful similarly these signs also have some sort of qualities and different stocks or commodities or any script which are trading in the market they also have something in common with you know this entire list so there will be some scripts which will react to certain signs in on and general movable signs are usually the start of a thing so they they are the starters for a trend to you know change start of anything a general start of anything is very important and see sun is the most important planet in the financial astrology course the luminaries basically the sun and the moon so i you know they are both are called as luminaries luminaries they are sun and moon they both are extremely important planets now what happens is suppose sun is entering into aries and we find that there is an event which is related to the sun or the moon so whether it is a new moon or is a no moon in that conditions the script which is having the vibrational energy matching with them they can give a reversal obviously pricing is very important uh, without the pricing ladder you know going forward with our decision is really difficult so pricing is always very important but in general you know if let's say there is a amavasya being formed or let's say there is a purnima being formed around 
the equinox or the solstice date, then market is bound to react to that. The quantum of the reaction can be different. So, this was all in to you know in this lecture. We will discuss about the cycles in the next lecture. Thank you so much.